Okay, so we're going to whiz past this part, okay, pretty quickly. I'm, I'm just going to do a lot of what I do pretty quick, just so um, we can get going into the DAX part of this, okay? But I'm going to go and connect. So, and hopefully you know how to do this. Definitely, if you haven't, go through the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Power BI, because, you know, all of this is covered in, in far more detail. Um, and, and some big sections so in that in that particular module so um, so I'm just going to work away here I'm going to grab that data I'm also um, I'll just bring this in so I'm just connecting all the tables there and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to really quickly create the date table because I just know I'm going to need this so I'm just going to come in here and copy it um, get rid of that and then I'm going to go new source blank query advanced editor copy it in so you can do you can do this stuff pretty quickly if you know what you're doing okay and it's about just becoming familiar with um, how um, the query editor works and also the data model which we'll go to in a second okay and then I can just quickly come in here and go dates because I just know it's got the detailed date table that I need and I can call this one the dates query right and then I'm also just going to clean up things here so I'm going to just clean up the names of my table so I covered this in the last course salespeople um, just keeping things as clean as, as you possibly can here right locations um, I'm going to call this products actually customers okay and then I'm going to clean these up I'm just going to hold down shift and then I'm going to go right click new group and I'm going to call this the data model okay and then I'm going to also call this a um, parameter query because you might make a few of these and so I'm just quickly tidying things up here I'm just going to do a quick check uh, I did this this data set is pretty clean already I didn't um, want to do too much um, too many updates inside of the query editor but just like that you know I've got all of my data right um, in my model and we can basically move on okay so um, obviously you know you may do a lot more cleanup here and undoubtedly you will um, depending on where your data's come from um, how disorganized it is etc okay but as I say this is pretty optimized already so I'm going to move, um, just apply that into my model now because remember those are just queries and now they're physically being transferred into my Power BI model. The very first thing I do is I always go to the modeling area, okay? And then I like to distinguish between my lookup tables and my fact tables. And um, I'm just going to go around and double check that these are correct because these are sometimes wrong. So location ID, yep, these look like they're connected up correctly. So I'm going to just bypass my delete rule um, just for, for speed purposes. And I'm going to just put my lookup tables up the top and my fact tables down the bottom. Okay, so I've I've rushed through some best practices there, but all of these things, you know, once you once you really understand how these how to how to work these best practices into your model, you can actually do it very quickly. And then all of a sudden, you've got a perfect model set up that you can start leveraging um, off for your analysis. And your analysis all starts with DAX, obviously. Okay, so then the last relationship I need to make is between my date table and my purchase date. Okay, so now all of these relationships, one to many, easy as that, and now I've got this whole model that we can start working on. Okay, so a little under four minutes, we got that all set up. Um, obviously, you know, if you had some cleaning up to do, that might take a little bit longer, but generally, you know you want to you want to be you you can you know i don't want you to right now but you can sort of get through these things very very quickly and remember it's all automated too so so it brings immense scale to your to your reporting that you might um, might be doing okay so we would move, be moving into here and we're going to start with dax and um we're going to just start with a bit of theory first um and some some cool features that i want to cover and we're going to do that in the next section